Uh, so welcome to our five-part series in function transformations. Uh, maybe it'll be a six-part series, who knows. Um, so function transformations, the way that function transformations work, uh, I'm going to show you what this looks like. Here's just like a random looking function. I just call it complicated function. Now we can transform the complicated function by adding something to the end of it. So you can see I'm moving it up and I'm moving it down. That's a transformation. We can create a different transformation. All right, this is a different app. Uh, watch this transformation. This time I'm going to move it to the uh, left and I'm going to move it to the right. Here's a second transformation. Let's look at another transformation. So here's our third transformation. Watch what happens when I shift the A value this time. Stretching, becoming thinner, flipping upside down and stretching out. And then there's a fourth function transformation. Let's look at this one. Here's our original function. Oops. Let's get this back to our original. Here's our original function, or close to it. I can stretch it, and this time it's stretching around the y-axis. Stretch it right out, or flip it upside down. You can see it's flipped upside down here. I can also squash it and squash it. There's four function transformations. We're going to explore each of them more closely in the coming video.